All right, welcome to October 1st. It's a Friday and we're gonna get started with our pledge, Moment of Silence and Aurora Pledge. So I'm gonna ask if you're in a classroom that you stand and join me at this time. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silent reflection. And now for our Aurora Pledge. I pledge to respect school policies, rules, staff members, and students. I pledge to show outstanding effort in school. I pledge to attend school daily and on time, and I pledge to be responsible in all school settings. Remember, we are Tigers, and we roar to achieve. All right, again, we're starting October, and it is not about being perfect. It's about effort. So you don't need to do something perfectly. It's just about trying and practicing and getting better at it. All right, so as we move into this Friday, we have some celebrations. I'm so excited about our students and staff of the month. So if you don't know, uh, each month we'll be selecting a student from each grade level to honor um, and put your picture up and give you some digital roar bucks. And we'll also be selecting a staff member as well. So I am so excited to read these names. Keep in mind that we have about 300 kids at each grade level and only one student is picked. So it's a pretty big deal. So here we go with our students and staff. All right, month. so at sixth grade, we have Cassandra Huntley. Cassandra has done an excellent job transitioning from elementary to middle school. She always focuses on her learning in class and has shown outstanding effort in her schoolwork. Keep it up, Cassandra. And in seventh grade, Grade, Gretchen Chanel. She stays focused 100% of the class time and actively participates in all activities. She learns quickly and works very hard for, for submitting her math first math assignment before it was even assigned. That is pretty awesome, Gretchen. And in eighth grade, Violet Gramazio exhibits great roar behavior and shows initiative to help fellow students and staff. She comes into math class with a positive attitude and is willing to partici participate in class every day. I love that that positive attitude, Violet. And now let me share the staff of the month. So for staff of the month, we're gonna honor, honor Mr. Fuel. Mr. Fuel is super awesome, great with our kids, and so admirable with those whom he takes under his wings. Love the energy and humor he brings to Shu. Fuel does everything and anything that is asked. He is one of the most reliable people that I have had the privilege to work with. He is so easygoing and fun to be around. I don't know why I would do without him. For all the tech help, couldn't have done it without him. Uh, Mr. Paul Marzulli is also honored this month. Mr. Marzulli goes the extra mile with all his students, very dedicated teacher, explains his material in a way that no students are left behind, and his patience and dedication for each student is to admire. For physical labor, he provided help more to several staff as they move their classrooms and making pizza runs to keep everyone happy. And last but not least, uh, our third staff honoree is Mr. Molderidge. Mr. Moldridge is always asking other teachers for ideas and follows up on them to let them know how they went. He's very eager to improve his teaching practices however he can and is off to a great start this year. Talk about having a true growth mindset and positive focus. I love it. So congratulations to Mr. Fuel, Mr. Marzulli, and Mr. Moldridge. You guys are doing fantastic. I am so proud to have you as part of our shoe family. We're so lucky to have you here. All right, for choir today, don't forget, all grades are gonna meet in the cafetorium today during enrichment, all grades for choir today. Um, and all right, we're gonna finish off uh, before we get to birthdays with our Hispanic Heritage uh, Month uh, information from our awesome students and Ms. Sadigi. Um, and I'm also gonna end today with a little fun TikTok that I put together. Um, for one of my favorite things actually um, uh, in thinking about Hispanic heritage is the music. I absolutely love um, at from whether it's from Mexico or Spanish guitar, um, I love uh, Latin music. So um, during Hispanic Heritage Month, you'll find me, well, actually all year long playing uh, music 
from the Hispanic culture. I absolutely love it. So here we go with our students to tell you some more that you need to know. Did you know that people in Spain have a different schedule than the rest of Europe? They usually have lunch at 1 to 3 p.m. and have dinner at 10 p.m. Something most people don't know is that skin color doesn't define your race. You can be dark skin, light skin, and even white and still be Hispanic. All right, for our birthdays on October 1st, we're gonna celebrate Cheyenne Anderson, Orlando Benito Martinez, Danae Copeland, Elizabeth Loy, and Genevieve Radich. And then for Saturday, October 2nd, a happy birthday to Anaya Powell. And then on Sunday, a very happy birthday to Samantha Donahue, William Garvine, Braden Groff, and Troy Holly. We hope that you guys have great birthdays this weekend. And then for our staff, we only have one birthday, and that is this Sunday to Miss Kelly. Happy birthday, Miss Kelly. We hope that you guys have an amazing weekend. I hope that everybody has a fantastic Friday and enjoy my little video here at the end, my silliness. Remember, be positive, be happy, and maybe dance a little.